Hello everyone, this is a Season 13 Top Cut match, Top 32 players. This is a replay stream of Joe Manji versus Vodka Blitz. Joe Manji playing a Hellfire list, and we're seeing here Vodka Blitz is a list. Uh, this is a pre-recording, so I unfortunately, uh, and Vodka Blitz is here for it. Very cool. This is like a time-warping experience going on. And uh, this is a pre-recording, so I have no control over the camera movements. We have to live with uh, the reality we're in. So the rosters were just a quick, quick flash in the pan. But uh, uh, hopefully you can pause the replay of this stream and uh, take a look at what each player brought. Anyway... Joining me on commentary for this replay is Carl. How's it going, man? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for the uh, for the invite to come uh, commentate. Yeah, I figured that um, you have played Hellfire in the past, and Joe is uh, Joe's been repping Hellfire, and uh, and you also uh, streamed a. I think did you stream a Claw game at Carl Con or something? Or am I what what dots am I trying to connect here? Yeah, yeah, we've been doing some recordings of the 2023 CarlCon and doing the commentary over, so it's been fun uh, catching up from those from September. And that was the claw, the claw game with the uh, vodka blitz, so that was fun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that's um, and vodka blitz was also on uh, um, the Alfredo Size Three or Vince Kirkov's YouTube channel where he did a a talk about this i think this list i maybe i don't know if it's the exact same list but anyway it's like the triple affiliated uh criminals list it was a very interesting lesson so if you want to hear more about the the team that he's bringing here you could probably check that out and uh yeah i played against a claw i played against a dual affiliated list in my week six game against one of um yeah so it was it was it was very close down to the wire situation and claw was uh is very tricky character to play against but the, yeah the, the list that vodka is bringing has three different leaders so there's lots of flexibility in in what you can do absolutely uh and i've played my share of criminals not this beat em up uh claw criminal stuff but so uh we've talked quite a bit about uh, criminals and different things that that Simon can do with them, but uh, he's taken up a completely different direction than than what I'm used to. So this will be fun. Yeah, that's right. So, um, what uh, do you have anything coming up or any sort of uh, plans in the future? So we've got Carl Con 2024. Uh, I will say though that uh, tickets sold out in under four hours. Uh, it's a 32 person event in September at a brewery in Northern California. Um, so we'll keep an eye out for that coming up, but, uh, it did sell out super quick. That's, uh, that's very cool. Yeah. I, I loved seeing all of the, uh, people, there was lots of talk about everyone's experiences, uh, from the first one that you did and all of the really cool things, lots of pictures coming on the discords about people putting all their characters on terrain <laughs> and just, uh, being pretty goofy with, with, uh, with like the last few rounds of the, of the tournament, uh, um, uh, which is very fun to see. Very, very cool. Yeah. That all connects to our bingo that we do for all the prizes, except for like the, the first place trophy goes on a bingo card. Things like your character gets thrown to the edge of the board or has more than three conditions. So there was just kind of normal silliness going on through the day, but that last round people just went crazy and are like colluding. They're like, no, I need you to take pyro so you can put three conditions on my character or all these kind of fun things. It was cool. Yeah, Mike's in the chat saying, "Didn't this game already happen?" Yeah, it. Uh, we're watching a replay right now, so we're. Uh, I have no one has seen this game other than the players that played in it, so we're gonna be basically uh, trying to call out what's happening, and uh, see how if you've already if you already know the result, then then. Uh, no spoilers, please. Yeah, yeah, I don't exactly. want to know. Yeah, exactly. So it's. Uh, we'll look it's, at the launch things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but you could if you wanted to spoil it, ruin it for yourselves but yeah so we're gonna we're gonna see what happened we're getting rosters deployed here and uh so we don't get any sort of camera movements this is replay so uh let's see looks like joe playing emma logan bill lizard and black cat with hellfire club brace for impact eyes on the prize exceptional healing mission objective and against him is vodka blitz's Modok 2 leadership is the only leader he brought. He's bringing Ulik, Rhino, and Bullseye, and Black Hat. So fully affiliated list here with Brace, Cruel Tutelage, Cruelty, Sacrifice. This is a robbery. Uh, Carl, nice. what do you think of the uh what do you think of the squads uh, on both sides? 
Yeah, so the the Hellfire Squad's pretty straightforward. I like it. It's it's kind of the the style I like. Uh, take a bunch of characters that are hard to beat up, and uh, and then Emma because she's so fickle, but she's gonna she's gonna do some damage. I hope in this game just just for Emma's sake. <laughs> um, but I really like the the Simon team. Uh, I like going all affiliated or a lot of affiliated with, with CS now. Um, I like the style that he's kind of developed. Um, allows that some of the cool CS cards to be um, easier to play and gives you more flexibility. Uh, no, all, co- or all according to plan here. I, I get it, um, but that that also going high affiliation can sometimes help with all according to plan. Um, but yeah, this this should be interesting. I like this. Yeah, so I think the only card right now that's criminal only is cruel tutelage. I believe. I, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. There is cruelty. Yeah, it's cruelty and... CS, but that's the weird one you can play on anybody. But it gives that tutelage option here. Yeah, like you're saying. <laughs> Mike's asking for a fuck you, Emma. Nah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how she does. Let's see if she's fickle right. and she she does Emma does what Emma wants to do. Uh, so yeah, so you'll have to tune in, Mike, to see if it uh, it happens. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh so this is pretty exciting. I mean, uh, the deployment here, we're gonna figure out. Uh, how they're going to play the characters black cat and um black cat on both sides here both long movers they can both hit the other sides of the board and uh but joe manji also has a lizard and beta ray bill who could also reach the opposite scoundrel tokens so we'll see if we uh see any sort of um so can black cat right yeah so they've got so joe has three characters that can hit the opposite side of the board on round one and uh, Vodka Blitz has only one, so we'll see if like if there's any impact there. Um, but yeah, so the Vodka Blitz is playing Modox leadership, which means that as long as you're contesting an objective, um, uh, you uh, when you roll your defense or attack dice, if you roll a wild, you can convert a hit if you're attacking, and you can convert and um, I guess you can convert a miss to a hit, mm-hmm. and if you're defending, you can convert a miss on defense to a shield. I think right. That's, that's right. right? I, I don't, don't remember like off the top of my head. Days characters, you could adjust them a little bit, right? So um, you could adjust a hit to a shield if you want to do something spicy. Killmonger, yeah, like uh, Vodka <laughs> saying, Killmonger being able to switch the shields over is really cool. Oh, okay. Um, so you can change. Wait, you can change to a hit or a shield. Is that how that wording uh-huh. works? I haven't. I didn't. I don't yep. have the card up. So all right, that's very cool. I like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. I'm not trying to so I like the Black Hot and Lizard here both. They they kind of perform a very similar role in that they're tanky, very hard to destroy, and fast. So uh, I like them being on opposite sides of the board to kind of cover those back scoundrels. Whether they want to be, he wants to be aggressive with them or not, uh, we'll have to see. But that gives them that similar role on both sides. So um, all right, we're doing the classic yeah, Bill yeah. Eyes play. Uh, we we've seen this just a couple of times when we watch these streams. You know, just maybe like every game. So. It's um it's interesting because uh so the card art right there is a uh, card art that you uh printed from your previous from previous CarlCon or when did that card art come up? Yeah, that was CarlCon 2023. It's actually LVO giveaways. I I've done the cards for the January LVO events and then I I also give them away at CarlCon. Um uh, but since I took over the mod, I I put those in the mod. Uh the robbery also has a special card, but you have to push the button to get it. Um that's from this year. And it's my buddy Ron dressed up in a rhino suit holding a bag of money, um, which he showed up to one of our events dressed up like that. So uh, that's a fun one to look out for next time you fire up the event, the uh, TTS. Yeah, it's um, is is it is it bad that uh, when I see the card art, that card art, I think it's like uh, that's the one I I remember in my mind. <laughs> the um, the I don't even know what the original like. You, I couldn't even describe what the actual one does. Even though I bring it to events and play it, I just like my mind is like locked into this one. I um to me especially yeah. eyes right because the eyes and the prize I've, is actually I think the best one I put together at least in terms of like what it is. Um, and I look at the original eyes and the prize. I'm like, oh, that's what that looks like. Like I, I don't even want to know. Yeah, yeah, that's very funny. We have Modok. Okay, so Bill did the eyes on the prize, and he retreated back to a flank scoundrel, and Modok rotated uh, to the same side, opposite scoundrel as Bill. I think it's because um, maybe because he uh, he likes that matchup. Vodka must uh, like the matchup there with the is it a wild incinerate on Modok? I guess he's immune to incinerate. He's, it's a it's a five dice Mystic attack into Bill, who doesn't like Mystic to begin with. Um, but yeah, so let's see what looks like Emma's 
also coming up from Joe Manji's side on the other opposite flank of Bill. Anyway, back to the card for a second. Um, I bring this up because <laughs> I'm going to show it on camera here. Maybe I can get a boom. I'm holding the card. That there we go. The you got one. Yeah, yeah, I got one when you uh, when you offered them for sale for uh, after Elvio. And there we uh, go. It's just, I was I was actually going through my cards, uh, all my old cards and alt cards and all that to for like this little side project thing I got, and um, and this came up because it's like it was just in the back of my card collection, and I was like, whoa, I forgot I had this. This is so sick. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm guessing you're gonna do more cards at CarlCon 2024, maybe. Yeah, we'll do some more of the, the this year's. Maybe add a few extra spicy ones in. We'll see what we end up with. It should be fun. Yeah, that's very. People cool. tend to really enjoy them. Yes, yeah, and they're good quality too. Like they they feel and touch like just like the other cards. Like I, the the difference is uh, it's it's almost indistinguishable. I think like I, I yeah, it feels just like the other, other than my amateur Photoshop skills. There's a few <laughs> times you look at it, and you're like, eh, does he really know what he's doing? And the answer is no, no, I don't. I'm making it up. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. Bullseye, nothing crazy. Bullseye is against Emma here, opposite or opposite side to face off. And, yep, so he still has uh, yeah. the option to go stand black out there to reduce the number of uh, victory points there to contest. But with Rhino there, he's probably going to think twice. So we'll see what ends up happening with Black Cat. Yeah. Uh, Lizard's looking to come get that back book and probably come stand on the scoundrel, maybe the center. I don't know. It's a tough call. So this, um, so what's, what I think is like my mind is going to, in terms of like what the end of this round is going to look like is that, um, well, so Joe's going to have two extracts to vodka blitz is mm -hmm. one. So already vodka blitz needs to chase a little bit here. And, yep. um, you can kind of like, because there's an odd number of secures, you might be able to tie the game. If you, mm -hmm. if you put, are able to put, um, two characters on like two characters on the middle and maybe they only, mm -hmm. maybe Joe only had one and there therefore you're at three three and then like you're not really feeling the 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 pressure on the X Rex is bad. It's much yeah. Uh, yeah and then um and you're going last too, right? Last typically favors the player who wants to like um if you're going last it means that you typically have an advantage on secures because your characters theoretically have more dis or can displace after other characters have activated and things like that. Um and so it's very interest. It's very interesting where it's like eight eight, right? So you can get parity a bunch of times, and the last team could win on the secures. First team could could hold their two extracts, and um, yep. so this is looking like it's it could be a pretty tight game here. Let's see. I guess the main question is, let's see if Joe puts a character on the middle, um, and uh, and if he takes any abuse at all from uh, from attacks on round one. It I don't know if Vodka Blitz has a lot of middle pressure to do it, so. Well, let's see what happens. I think he's setting up Black Cat in a position to be able to stagger a Logan, uh, assuming Logan will end up on that central, uh, give himself that option. Uh, looks like Simon set up that, or he's going to end up staggering maybe a, a bill if things go interesting. But I like I like the forward positioning Black Cat, making sure she can be relevant later uh, because she's going to either need to get attacked, get a power, or she's going to need to stagger something. Um, at least that's my thinking here. Yeah, I think that um, I made this mistake. I played a game last night, and I made the mistake of not um, of playing too cautious with Black Cat. And as a result, she basically just gave, got me one point, uh, a victory point around, and it was like a, an right. extract that I already that I already could si kind of safely grab because we were playing senators. And right. uh, yeah, you kind of need her to uh, make your opponent's attacks inefficient. Yep. And you do that by that putting her done either down by the board. staggering or being attacked, right? She she actually plays a very similar role as as Lizard, which is why I described it that way. Is she's slowing things down? She's tanky. Uh, yeah, Lizard does that by throwing somebody, but she does it by staggering. So it really fills a similar role in in a little different way. Yeah, that's right. Vodka Blitz mentioning that like she's even more tanky when she's got cover here, which is what she uh, oh, yeah. will probably have most uh, in a lot of situations. So yeah, it's like um. We just saw a game on Scoundrels on my stream. It was uh, with Thanos, right? Damage reduction to zero plus cover is just absolutely brutal to attack into. Oh, and uh, and so it's like Black Cat is a similar, it's a similar type of thing when you got that wild can convert uh, a miss to a dodge or to a defense. Oh yeah, Simon calls this out. It's not just the cover. It's the cover and the MODOK leadership. 
So she's oh, like, oh, yes, yes, in, yes. Indes- That's what I, yeah. indestructible here. I love that. I didn't think about the Modoc leadership, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, the whole thing. <laughs> she's, she's got four different <laughs> types of defensive tech on this mission, uh, which is yeah, exactly. absolutely obscene. Uh, man, yeah. It helps her build power. Okay, so how? I guess I don't understand that part. How how it helps her build power? Uh, so either the leadership can help her build power, right, by by converting into it for a hit, but she can also then take a hit if it's only going to be one. So she can convert one of her blocks into damage if she needs it, right? So she's got options here. Is the trick? Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. So Logan's going to come in. Uh, maybe punch a rhino and land on that objective. I think that seems reasonable. He's not going to get his rerolls. He's going to be within three. I think it's going to be tough to get Logan to be super effective here and keep him outside of range three. Uh, he'll start next turn outside of three, which is good. Uh, but I think it's going to be tough to keep him uh, active with those rerolls. Yeah, and so and by Joe putting a Black Cat on the same point as Emma, it meant that that's why Vodka Blitz put Rhino. Uh, where he did on the point because yep. he knew that no matter what Logan did, Ulick would be able to, um, would be able to get on the point. And just like I said, it would be a three or uh, a four, four tie mm-hmm. um, going into the round, going into round two, which is where you want to be. You want to be tied when you have an odd number of extracts and you mm-hmm. lost priority. I would even have debated the attack on Rhino here, giving him power when he's not going to be super full would have been interesting thinking. I still not sure if it's the right call, but it was something I would have debated. Double yeah. walking instead of the attack would have been interesting. Yeah, I agree. He's now going to aggressive Rhino here so that he gets, he gives uh, Ulick room, which is pretty cool. I like the, uh, yep. that's very smart. And now I love it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's it's very interesting because like uh, X Men were are a very uh, turn one. They had a lot of different options turn one. Mm-hmm. And Vodka mm-hmm. Blitz, um, he made a lot of uh, all blog articles on his blog about it, and and his discussions, and and obviously, and put a lot of um, he helped the community a lot, especially in like the X Men chat for uh, strengthening players' knowledge of how X Men can have a good good strong start and basically he's like taking all of that like theory and thinking and applying it to a different affiliation and with the claw and uh and this uh and just having great turn one so it's uh it's very cool to see that um uh that application of of thinking going uh, t- to another affiliation very cool yeah, it's been fun because I played so much CS that we we kind of brainstormed a little bit he, uh and it's been fun hearing his completely unique takes on the affiliation um, and kind of where he comes from. So Simon's a lot of fun to kind of brainstorm with uh, doing things differently. I like it. Okay. So yeah, Rhino is also in a spot to, um, I I don't see. Okay. I'm, oh, Lizard grabbed them back Montesi. So now yeah, he is in a spot to rob yeah. Lizard if he can, uh, if he wants to. Mission objective is online though. Um, but, 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 but not but really, no, not it's really. not because yeah. Bill's got it as well. Right. So you can't pass it anywhere. So it's actually disabled. Yeah. This so is a perfect opportunity for him to use it. Um, but yeah, so let's see, we do have Joe with priority. So we're going <laughs> to see. Simon says we could fast forward a little. There's been a coffee break here. So <laughs> I don't know if that's possible for you. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Let's see what happens here. Oh, here we go. I think maybe Joe's moving his mouse now. So. We went for a coffee break, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is uh let's see what uh what Joe does here. Logan is is ready to swing, but he's got two pretty tough models that right in front of him that uh, it's it's hard to know if he can chop down. I mean, he does have the rerolls because he's outside of three of the rest of his team. Um so if he so- can Remove Rhino here, it's really strong, but man, that's going to be really tough ass. He's double moving Not... Black Cat for the mission objective. Oh, I like this. This is really nice. That disables the Rhino. Rhino on both of them, like on both Bill and Black Cat. So I think that he just saw like, yeah. what needs to happen. And he, uh, yeah. So very, Spicy yeah. Call. I, I like, like, it, I like it a lot. Especially, yeah, it's, it looks good to me. Clever. You just uh, you just need to 
you just need to find those problems that your opponent you need to make sure you are yeah. seeing the problems your opponent is threatening you threatening you with and and respond um just respond well so yeah i think that was i think that was good he's gonna trigger the leadership also, that's happy. it looks mm-hmm. like oh no he just flipped it over to um you say it's recycled it's ready to yeah, go yeah yeah so this also sets up if he ends up losing a lizard or a bill here from some spike uh, or a steel, and at least on turn three, he's now got a powered up black cat on the side where the objectives are. So I really like this for the future thinking as well, not just the now. Okay, so All right, so we got a bill. Got the, oh, no, this no, is the crushing ability. leap ability that he just spent on ah, the so I like to call this hop, skip, and a jump, right? Yeah, yeah. So hop, skip, and a jump, and he's gonna punch an Emma. Yeah. Uh six dice eight. with a wild push. Um and Emma's got only two. Uh, let's see if so she I would not transform but, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Let her die. If she dies, it's fine. She wakes back up and hopefully kicks butt. Um if she blocks, it's also cool because you've now saved um you know, some some output from Ulick uh, on a character that that isn't going to be contributing to the objectives as much. Yeah. So, but either way, six dice here is. Uh, I mean, two. that's pretty. They're big punches. Four. Yep. <clears throat> taking two, it looks like. Uh, let's see if a crit. Oh, taking, taking one. Yeah. Sounds sounds great. That's a great roll for Emma. She's thrilled by that. Yeah, that's right. Um. Do you? Pu- I think you you would want to. I like. I think you'd want to push her off the point here. Totally. Um, Every time. And but keep her in range two if you could. Yep. So just let's, see off if, of the let's see if that happens. But um, looks like he's just doing a second attack into her. He opted not to push. Okay. So he's he he gets there. So it's, it doesn't count on the point anyway. I guess. Um, yeah. Yep. Okay. Pop. Yeah. So this also ends up giving uh, Jumanji priority back. So maybe he can he can punish. Uh, the return attack, right? Oh, so he already had priority. So if oh so, shoot, so, shoot. I lost so track. this means no, that it's, it's really good if you if yep. your opponent already has priority, it's really good to take out activations that haven't gone yet yep. because you're not affecting the priority order, and Absolutely. it means the player that gets to go first in the round just basically has less a- less actions to, uh, um, yeah, to fight on. And now that <laughs> that yeah, that's a big that's a big point for Ulik here. And uh, he's gonna score that secure unless Logan rotates over. And uh, yeah, so um, we do have displacement options available on Bill, but and, and Lizard. But Lizard, I don't know if they can get there. It's tricky. It's just tricky. You have to dedicate. Um, what happened? What happened there? I'm missing. Oh, did he move? We walk. Oh, sorry. I'm a little behind you. Yep. Punch. So I see the move action, and maybe he's punching Ulick. Uh, I think he's punching Bullseye, maybe. Let's see. I guess we'll find out. So, yep. uh, f- okay. He has four blocks with, so it must have been Ulek. Yep. So he'll be placing over there by Emma. Keep that point low. Uh, he spent the three power for the throw, I think. Is that what I saw? So, um, yeah, paid for what I do isn't yep. very nice. Good yep. call. Right, so there we go. So he's going right. to displace. So he can win that objective. I like that a lot, actually. Gets Ulek off there, actually scores that point. That's really strong. Yeah. Uh, Ulik did block pretty well, so it's not like. Yep, but I don't think that's the goal. I mean, if he could daze him, great. But let's just get him off the point. And then hmm. throw that size three troll somewhere. Yeah, let's see it. Okay. All right, and the car b- b- breaking the car, and uh, yeah, yep, there yep. you go. Ulix, I mean, he's got these a lot of tough models here. Uh, with uh, on vodka blitz aside, they're all gonna Absolutely. stay. They're all gonna be able to like weather the hits, and and Joe bringing lizard means he like he's great for displacement, but he's not. Um, he doesn't hit very hard, and so, uh-huh. um, it's just like yeah. So there's a. Uh, um, they might they might stay healthier longer than they um uh than other four threats if you brought them instead. Okay, so let's see. Bullseye's moving up and hitting Logan here. Yep, shoot Logan. Seems fine. 
Bullseye safe on that side. Jumanji's not going to do anything to Bullseye, so this all seems good. Yeah, there's no point in paying for extra damage because uh, it's just you're giving Wolverine free power at that point. Yeah. Uh, with that healing factor. So it makes sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're time traveling. We're uh, we're tra traveling back in time here. This is a replay stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The um, yeah, could you, you know imagine? I mean? we, we don't. He doesn't need that uh, behind the scenes uh, viewing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So then, uh, yes. Yeah, so let's see what uh, what Joe does. He's got two models to vodka blitzes four, so we could pass here. We might see. Um, let's see if that happens. All right. So it looks like he's gonna scoot over to. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. There are decisions, so you have to. Uh, sometimes the the uh, takes a little bit. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Let's see. So, what would I be thinking through here? Does Rhino want to be pushing into the little fort kick ass down here in the corner, or even though Rhino is not a good call at the moment, still might be wanting to get some output there. Um, that or maybe Modok steps up and starts kind of plinking away at, at Lizard. I don't know. Something in that space is where I'd be thinking. I still don't know all of Modok's play patterns, so I'm not sure what's optimum with him there. Yeah. Uh, I I have not played Modok at all, so... Um, I've got about I, three I, games with him. I, I spent like two days of pretending to work, but painting instead. Getting my Modoc two all squared away. I think he looks. He's probably my best painted model. I put him on the gate board for like three games. I went, God, I hate this guy. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but um, I think I need to give him a second chance. Yeah, there was a game uh, that was on my stream a few back, and it was uh, Schmid was playing him in Convocation, and uh, oh that, my, so it's, it's very clear. Right? He's got the Mystic Defense, uh, the stronger Mystic Defense. He's got the large base, so the bump is really good and. And he was playing him with Ultron too, so it's like he was passing, sacrificing attacks into the grunts, into the drones. So just a combination of like all these really cool things, and you got to see pretty much all of that in that game. So I think like that was probably like one of the uh, most, uh, the best, one of the best games to showcase his skills. Now, obviously, we haven't seen this game yet, so let's see what he can do. But um, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, <laughs> painting instead of working today. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I think I think pretty much anyone, uh, everyone in the yeah. hobby has done that at some point. Okay, so <laughs> it's it's the best when I've got all my meetings stacked on like a Thursday, Friday, because those are my not in office days. I still have to go to the office. Yeah, but uh, but then I stack them up that way, and I'm like, oh, I'll just listen to this meeting, and I'll be painting away. Yeah, yeah that's great. Okay, so yeah, Joe is um. So one thing that like when you're holding more extracts than the other person, and you have to like basically protect your characters, it's mm -hmm. um. It's it's very tricky. Like you're, it's just like a tricky spot to be in because like if you um your game could fold if you like just like have an unlucky yeah. attack and all that and um, totally. I guess like it's um I guess it's I guess what I want to say is like it's easier to displace characters off of secures than it is to take their extracts in general. Absolutely. So I do think yeah. Rhino's the king of that too. His five dice attacks just don't don't crush through things very often so you know he, he needs his card to really function and he needs the output from his throws what is happening here so we're scooting to the north and then we're going to be punching the logan yeah that makes sense to me schmidt Probably is just punch. saying schmidt's just saying be a man you hold the extract lead and attack and be the aggressor <laughs> <laughs> i like that a bill through Rhino. Oh, okay, thank you, Simon. I was losing track of what's happening. Um, I forget the pink is uh, Jumanji. I got to remember that. Okay, so it does mean that um, it does mean that Bill is going to be uh, done his turn, and it will have one character Lizard left to activate before Vodka Blitz activates yep. three, which means that uh, he'll get to basically set himself up as best as possible for for round three. All right, so he's moving. Yep. Bill. And he's uh, walking back outside yeah. of three, outside of the stagger range, uh, the troublemaker range. So 
uh, just kind of trying to disable his other characters. But uh, this means Rhino will have to pay you to get back into the action. I'll have to pay his three to, to push him and punch. Um, he may not get into that range three, so we'll have to see. That or he's going to have to go for Logan. Um, we still have exceptional online, so it's going to be tough to kill Logan here. Yeah, and brace. Yeah, so. I mean, I I don't see Logan um going down, but like I mean, you could contest <laughs> and then get some chip damage in might be the idea. So let's see here. Yeah, mission objective is gonna mm -hmm. hold both. The, so Bill doesn't have enough power. That's the that thing I think he's gonna see here. He's Vodkowitz is eyeing up. Bill only ah, has one power, point. and Lizard is uh, is is ver uh, is right beside him. You could just attack Lizard and then play robbery on on bill yep that's a great call um yeah that's uh does he have enough power to do it all play. so he would the problem is you you don't i don't know if you've got enough power to you'd have to stampede and then you would yep. have only you just would be short on power and you'd have to punch through cover so this is where you've got a seven dice and a five dice to try to get your power up yep. yeah it's tricky and he won't have the leadership because he won't be on it on the thing for the first attack at least on the objective yeah, so it looks like he's not going with Rhino right away here. Staggering Logan seems like uh, oh, yeah, like it's, this. it's yeah. It's, yep, that's this what is he's fantastic. Get on that center objective that Jumanji can't take back easily. Stagger Logan for next turn. Keep yeah. that damage output low. This is fantastic. Okay, so he's going to get the stagger, and uh, it looks like he got the wild, which means she, she can uh, move short. But, she probably uh, would. I would scoot yeah. her back a little bit, maybe. Um, yeah, you might. I mean, you might as well get her outside of range of every other character. Yep. So it's like uh, you just need to move outside of four of Emma. And no, just three. Are. Oh, yeah, three. Stealth. Stealth. Yeah. So just outside of three of Logan. I, you know, he doesn't need to go far, but I would get out of that a little bit. Or yeah. maybe start moving there toward the, the other so objectives. It's... Yeah. um. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, good to see uh, you use like your full your full character kit when you uh, can all the different little things. So even that small amount of movement and difference, um, it's probably going to be significant. Logan being staggered means he can't attack Black Cat next round at all, or he, like even if he wanted to. I'm not saying that's a good idea or whatever, but um, yeah, that's uh. Also, the chances of Logan killing Emma if he, uh if. Simon, or, or no, sorry, the other way around. But yeah, otherwise Logan's outputs are down quite a bit. Yep. Okay. Vodka saying Joe passed, so we'll see. So he's going again. Yeah. Uh, when you're when you have less models left to activate, and you're getting closer to the end of the round, you usually uh, want to activate alternate activations on the last, on the last two. Like you want to go, you want your character to go second last if possible. Of course, if you're like on the verge of dying or something, and uh, you like probably go with the character so that they uh, you get actually to use them in some capacity. Uh, but, I need to yeah. remember to pass more often myself. There's there's weird lots of cases where you get stuck like this where this is definitely the right case. And I I typically end up just activating my characters and that's <laughs> that's not a good call. Yeah, it's um it's it's a decision point that um you should try like try to just at least consider um it needs to be part of your yeah. kit, right? And yeah, it's yeah, not exactly. fully part of my kit and it, yet and I've really got to think about it. Cuz I'm in my mind passing is an aggressive player's uh tool set and I don't know why it's stuck in my head that way. All right, so let's see what uh what Rhino does here. Size 4 means lizard can't displace him at all. Um, I'm sure Vodka Blitz is trying to like count up the 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 point situation here. We have, i um, has got two points. He's got the Montessi, and uh, and Bill and Lizard have the Montessi on Joe's side, and they're both within range of uh, Black Hat to mission objective. Bill's but Bill's short power, and um, Man, Lizard with cover. It's just not. I, I, don't I hate this. Like, I hate attacking him. Um. Yeah, I mean, the He's thing is... He's got to generate two damage over two attacks is what he needs to get the robbery online after a stampede. So seven dice into five to do two damage is all he's probably looking for. Yeah, the... the um, if you attack, at least the second attack, like, has... Um, the second attack won't have cover against it. Right. 
So you've got that available to you. Looks like he's um, opting to go with Modoc here and maybe soften up Black Hat. I like I I, he stay I like on how the, he's on the point. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's on the point. I can see some nice. pixels. Uh, so. okay. He prioritized the attack, which makes sense to me. But it's like, ooh, that's closer than than I'd be comfortable with it. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, either way, um, it's he got uh, both the things he wanted, which was an attack yes, and on the point, sense. and he is. Getting a wild incinerate pushes through. Wow, look at that massive amount of damage nice. there. Three on okay, black hat now... with one attack. It's like you should be celebrating. <laughs> Rhino might actually want to punch black hat at this point after the push. Modok is a size. Um, this new Modok is a size three. three. Yeah, size yep. three. Same size base, same size model, different size character for game stats. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting decision, but uh, it's. I uh, maybe a balanced thing because you can obviously size threes are easier to displace. I, I'm not sure. He's less the I'm gonna vote dartboard effect. Like, <laughs> uh, what size should it be? Let's throw it at the dartboard. <laughs> okay, so lizard's looking to going to be displacing Modoc. Uh, it looks like here. Uh, yeah. Oh, Simon says that's why he went into black hat is because lizard can push off the point. That's interesting. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's that the interesting thing too is that now Lizard can't mission objective either. <laughs> yep. Um uh, very um so yeah, that's um so knowing that you can't mission objective, do you just go onto Modox point then? I mean I would imagine you would. Mm. Um with yeah. the lizard? Looks yeah, like that's I what he's doing. Walk. Yeah. Yeah. He's just making he's just make he's basically going as far away from Rhino as possible, but it's also you're like um, you have the ability to now displace Modok even further, I think, with your attack. I think your attack has a range or has a size three push on it. But he's walked while. twice, right? Uh, yeah, Lizard just walked twice, so. Yeah. So walk and throw. He'll have to displace him next turn, maybe. But that would be a sad Modok if he gets a punch and a throw, a punch of the wild and a throw. That would be super sad Modok. Okay, so Rhino is uh he's going for it. It looks like there's the stampede line, and he's gonna pay. It looks like he's paying, so um, he's yep. gonna get on the point too. It looks like um if he, I think that's gonna get him there. Yeah, it's a great line. There it is. Now no cover. He's looking to get. Um, Does he get the no cover? Nice, nice, yeah, good so, call. So he's looking to get two damage through would be best on seven dice yep. and a four with damage reduction. And leadership fixing, Vodka Blitz mentioning. Yep. Yeah, you got the wild. So he's got it. He's got four successes into one. Fantastic. Which is two damage. It's exactly what he wanted. And, uh, and now he's going to, yeah. And now, <laughs> now he's um, he's going to place before damage and he's going to play mission Chuck objective. Or oh, sorry, uh, this is a robbery to displace Rhino and take the piece. Now he's uh, locked in a secure advantage and uh, extract advantage as well. So very strong round two for Vodka Blitz back. here. Interesting. Okay. I was thinking throwing him toward the corner uh, of the board, uh, the down the left is what I was thinking. But maybe he doesn't thread the needle there. Yeah, I think that, that, that probably just too tight to risk it. I, I don't think yeah, that makes make sense. It, but, um, so yeah, that's the only way to go. Oh, that would be away from his team. Now that he's got a strong round two, putting him up nine to seven. Uh, yeah, just having Lizard have to move to impact. And he's off a point too, which is important for Hellfire Club. Means he won't Absolutely. gain power and, and heal uh, if God, the heart is activated. Uh, Juice is up Emma, but that one point of power doesn't matter. She can defenestrate twice already, so uh, taking the power from Lizard doesn't actually help. So if she was on like seven, then it's kind of like, hey, great. Uh, Emma gets to dispend her twice, but it didn't help yeah. any. Okay, well, let's see what Joe does here. He's doing a spender into um, into Ulick, I think, because it's range three. Like it. Yeah, it's range three attack, so it has to be into him. Um, All right, Emma, are you going to be fickle? <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Oh, but a great Ulick, roll, Ulick has but... a great block, so only one damage. One damage. Ah. Oh. Doing it again. Doing it again. Oh, so he doesn't opt to throw. I like that. That's smart. Yep, yep. 
All right, there's a fuck you, Emma. That's that's a that's a Emma shit in the bed. Double spender, <laughs> no damage. Ah, uh, yeah, there we I go. Feel so bad. Go. That, that is a terrible Emma roll. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything in case it was a bad roll. <laughs> All right, great, great. We got the sound bite officially now. Uh, everyone, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah. So Emma didn't. Uh, she has done that too many, so many times that it's it makes me want to change off a hellfire for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, so then. Yeah, uh, hop, so skip, looks, and jump. Yeah, here we go. He's just gonna like punch her back. Yeah, punch. Yeah, she's gonna. She's invulnerable here. Logan's already staggered. It's like you don't even have to worry about him. Uh, Ulix nope. got that that five power auto stagger spender, so that's very strong too, and. It, um, but he's not did he use it i don't think so he just did a builder yeah you, the the leap crushing leap thing uh requires you to do the strike attack which is the yes. six dice the six so, dice with a push on a wild so he's looking maybe he's gonna do the spender here let's see there it goes five power it's a um, hit crit wild or no uh, there's a hit crit wild skull or something like that it's a four dice it's trigger combo, yeah. and it gets you an activated token but she's already activated so uh, he's not concerned about that. It has an auto stagger on it, which it is crit great. wild hit goal. Okay, so it's like it's like the same thing as Beta Ray Bill's Spender, except uh, it has a skull attached to it too. Yep. Um, but it's nine dice, which was uh, not yep. enough to get her, but enough to like put her in uh, in bullseye, getting her territory. Yeah, I would have debated transforming there. Uh, it still feels really bad, but keeping her alive in extra. Oh, he's gonna—is he gonna uh, play cruelty? Mind. Is he gonna play cruelty? He's eyeing it up. Um, oh man, and he's also got cruel tutelage too. It's like he didn't—he uh, didn't get to see that yet. But man, tutelage on that sh- on that spender is really nice because it helps you hit that trigger, and it becomes a twelve dice. It becomes a mini ghost rider oh, punch. That's a very yeah. that's very cool. I never yeah. even, I haven't didn't put that together, but yeah, tutelage is a great card. If he transform here, it gets to throw size four and probably guarantee the KO. No, that's um, fair because he because he has this the ability to brace on put two yep. power. Uh, and it he can't, can't play tactic cards. cards if you flip yeah. if you flip to diamond. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so good call. Yeah, so he opted not to stay. It looks like he's staying in normal psychic form, which is uh, yeah, all right. Um, yeah, so very another great like, Ulik just showing why he's. Uh, he can you can five threat character here. You can you can bring I mean, the if pain. Bullseye within range four, then she's just dead. So I think that's why Logan's looking at going to see if he can end a new look and keep. I, is he within uh, four of Emma? Emma? Did he just measure? I that? don't know. I, it looked. Uh, well, who did he attack last time? Maybe he's not. Who did Bullseye attack last time? He attacked Logan, right? Yeah, maybe he's out of. He was out. Okay, Simon says he's out. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Still Gosh. shoot. Yeah, I don't know. That's tough. So yeah, let's see. Um, looks like Joe's looking to go with Lizard and trigger the leadership, maybe. Um when when he gets Lizard on a point. He only has two power though, so he can't really do a whole lot. Um so Yeah, it's a sad lizard. Black Cat's looking for he's looking for a steal maybe stagger there's a lot I don't know I will see what he does there's lots of different uh, Joe's got to make uh, some good decisions here and get a little uh, get things to go his way you know seeing this play out I I really like this that Simon's CS squad here more and more um, having played most of these models I'm I'm seeing how this all clicks this is really really nice. Uh, gives them a bit of the objective play. Gives them some teeth. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. But the, the more I'm seeing it play out, <laughs> I just had to like. I just had to look at the characters, and for a second there, I was like, they're playing a twenty threat. But uh, maybe, yeah. uh, maybe just like my <laughs> optical illusion, like looking at all these characters and having like good value on five yeah. points aside. And, and no, this is eighteen threat. So yeah, um, you look at the package, you get an eighteen threat. It seems yeah, it, look, it looks good. Um, I mean, uh, both sides have a lot of, of lot absolutely. Of, uh, they're very strong characters on both sides here. Yeah, I like eighteen a lot with Hellfire. Um, gives you options on all those fours that you you want to pick through. Yep. All right. So, do 
Anji here. Um, so Logan, so Logan can displace Ulek again. That's probably what he's going to do. Um, so that side is kind of like, um, is we're, he's kind of like locked in on that side and, and bullseye is probably just going to stay on the point he's on because when you're winning, you basically, you want, if you just want parity and you want parity to be, you both score one point instead of you both score no points. Um, Mm -hmm. because you want the game to end faster if you've got the, if you're, uh, if you've got the clock on your opponent, basically. So, um, and with two extracts and the lead over Joe Manji's one extract, it means that, yes, you want to run that clock. So Bullseye's going to stay on that point. Logan's going to stay on the other point and displace Ulick. And so that side is kind of like, is going to resolve itself. And so I can understand why Joe Manji's not focused on that side. And he's looking to, uh, to make something happen uh, over here. Um, I'm, I'm guessing we're trying to see some sort of black hat's got all the power she wants. So it's like a hop and a stagger with a, with a wild into another mm-hmm. stagger on another character on like Rhino with a wild. And you could be in a spot where you're now, um, that's two actions. You can't steal. So, uh, nope. okay. So he tried to get within range three on that jump and it was just short. Not within range three of Bodok? No, he's out. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So he, um, I mean, you, you're, he kind of, he basically wasted two power there, but she did have nine. So it's not like right. it's the end of the world. Um, no. yeah. I think the bigger problem is, uh, is her having incinerate on her and, and already have taken two damage yeah. and, and, uh, Absolutely. yeah. So she's going to be having to play brace for impact. Probably Rhino's going to just like try to get her flipper. Yep. I mean, like that's for that size two window and then save the four for later. Yeah. Does Modoc can throw. What size can Modoc throw? He's got a terrain throw. So Joe is looking at a range two on lizard and a range one on Rhino. He's hoping to be able to steal from Rhino and then be able to mission objective onto lizard. Um, so he is going to get it. So he does have both things. So let's yep. see. He's going to, there's taking the book back from Rhino and yep. that costs him an action. So that was two actions. Uh, yep. She is now done. And then um, the leadership to heal up. So That's I think good. they already, yeah, they did the leadership on Emma's on, uh, I guess she oh, that was on Emma's time. turn. Yeah. So Lizard did take the damage yep. and, uh, and lost the power for Emma. Uh, or I guess Emma was full health at that time, I think. Anyway. Yep. yep. Sorry. Losing track. <laughs> yeah, but we, we got it. We got there. Yep. Yeah, so Simon's got a lot of output on the southern side for throws, let alone, because they're both able to throw size fours. It's it's a short and a medium. So, uh, oh, I can Modoc. Modoc throw size four? I thought. Yeah, that. so that means the oh, brace. Sh- he's going to have to debate the brace on the size two. Probably, and then and then he's still got a size four down there. So there's going to be some tough decisions coming up. All right, Bullseye's going to walk. This is, how much power does Bullseye have? Four, so he can spend her. Uh, oh, he may yeah, be that's walking right. up and spendering into. But then you don't have the power to pay for auto damage. But you're only going to do one. Um, and also I guess like if here's another thing too, is that like she transforms in the same timing window as like Ant-Man and all that. So yep. she'll definitely take the hit, uh, from the first attack. But mm-hmm. if you had a rapid fire, like, like bullseyes, uh, Oh, look at that. We have got a cruel tutelage on bullseye here. Oh. He's looking to take her out. <laughs> yes. Um, that's the regular attack then. Yeah. So if you, but if you bump out with your transform ability, it means the rapid fire, you have to remeasure the light, the range. Yes. And uh, and Emma could be out if you've transformed outside yeah. of range four, but it could. I, um, I think the measurement looks good, but it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, no, I mean like I mean like in situations where you're max range four from yes. the other character. Absolutely, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Oh look at that, Bulls! I moved on the point. Better leadership, like the leadership's online now, right. so he's got the wild and um and he did a hit. He can he hit, and a run hit and run and walk outside back. of get outside of Ro- Logan's range three attack is what he's uh, gonna be doing. Yeah, yeah, vodka blitz here, <laughs> Schmidt. Vodka blitz. Yeah, it's it's it nice is. having the the mind <laughs> of the player here with us to as we wander through trying to figure out what's happening. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? It's, you know, players that don't know what we're what, doing. <laughs> what matters? What matters is we get to we get to watch the game. All right. That's so, right. So that's exactly we're looking it. at. 
um, we could appreciate the, so yeah, thanks to the players for letting us stream the game to begin with, right? They don't, they're not obligated to let us, uh, stream these games. Um, so really, it's really cool that they, uh, they let us do this. Okay, so yeah, Bullseye hits the Cruel Tutelage, takes the stagger from the card, because he did roll a skull. And yeah, he but did that get stagger's a, a problem run. for next turn, right? <laughs> he, he doesn't have to worry about it till later. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and it's not like he really uh, like you're, you're you're if anyone's gonna be staggered on his team, like the two threat, throw the throw the stagger yeah, on the two threat. Cool. It's not a big yep, deal. absolutely. Yeah, so the turns, uh, man, just turns Bullseye's attack into a, like a monster, like a Hulk hit, right? You just pay one power, right? It's one power cost card, right? Is that how that works? And yep, yep. Dice. And so I used to use this against X Men before uh, Black Cat got uh, adjusted, and for I used it as a pseudo steel card because she could walk up, turn one, double move next to somebody with an objective, and then they usually wouldn't attack Black Cat. And then at the start of that next turn, she wouldn't have enough power to steal, but you could tutelage, have a Malekith punch, seven dice with the Pierce, probably get enough power to steal, steal, and then walk away because it used to be. Uh, you know, not an action. So right. that was the way I used to use it a lot. Um, you can't do that anymore, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that is um, that is really cool. But e- either way, like this, uh, this bullseye hit with the wild turning into another hit is like is, is also like uh, it's like Malekith. Get. Yeah, yeah, there you go. He's saying he, he's saying you got him with it <laughs> in, at yep. LVO last time. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a fun move that we figured out because it was a tough matchup for me. So um, glad I got to use it. So fun. <laughs> That is really cool. The, uh, but, it, you know, yeah. it really shows the power of the card because, like, even if you're going to double tap a character, uh, that stagger isn't relevant until the next turn because it's the first action. So if your first action is cruel tutelage, it doesn't matter. That's that's a later problem. So it's it's one of the neater cards that kind of looked really bad at first read, but then you're like, actually, this is really good. Yeah. It's the, the major synergy that that card has is with Shadowlands Daredevil leadership because yep. it lets you that leadership as long as you're attacking somebody who is contesting a point um, or holding an objective, it lets you re-roll a skull. So if you rolled only one skull in your big hit, you could re-roll mm-hmm. out of it and and avoid the downside. But like you're right, like the downside isn't a big deal, especially if the card gives you a KO. Like if the, like That's right. what happened here, like yes, Bullseye takes a stagger, and we can talk about how like him being staggered isn't that big of a deal. But if let's say if it was like a bigger hitter. And you killing like, Emma right? to 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 get her off the board and staggering uh, a, a three or four threat character is is usually going to be worth the uh, worth the card. Or maybe on a usurp the throne t- uh, turn with uh, <laughs> you know that's 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 the way I also like to use them is uh, with Killmonger because it's like usurp you're like how many can I just throw a Helios laser at you for two victory points yes please yeah I yeah. like that too that sounds that sounds very cool. <clears throat> oh, Electra Spender, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Impale ten dice plus three more. You're just like, mm, yeah. It's just, uh, it's absolutely terrifying. The best is when you throw that big usurp tutelage dice and you look at your your tray and you're like, damn, how did I end up with twelve shields with Killmonger? This is terrible. Oh crap! I've still got one power. Cool. We can spend to flip it over <laughs> and and kill the character. So I've had those things happen too. It's really fun. Nice. Uh, looks like uh, Black Hat took a damage from uh, a an attack from Modok, and now he's considering yep. throwing terrain into her. Looks like he's throwing this middle car here. Yeah, it would definitely. That way, Rhino can throw the one that's closer because he's a bigger pickup range, but a shorter throw there, on right. Modok. It works so. out really well. Yeah, yep. They're yeah. Just so simple. You can see like how uh, it's it might seem obvious to us like watching this on the side, but just like. Uh, those are things that you want to like. You need to consider. He's considering Rhino's activation and what it could offer him, and Absolutely. Uh, and so yeah, you want to be thinking a, a, an activation ahead when you when possible, or more or more. All right. So that ended up dazing uh, Black Hat. She opted to roll into it and uh, took the hit for it. Okay, so we have uh, Black Cat. Uh, she should have dropped the Montessi, right? Um, yeah, I, I really guess need Rhino to fix picked the it up. Uh, I don't no, know sorry, why Modoc must, must have. Go. No, Modoc couldn't pick it up because he already had one. <clears throat> so the Montessi is somewhere. Missing objective under Lizard. Oh, Got yeah, it. there it goes. Then. There we go. Yep. So 
Yeah, Lizard's got it now. Okay, so now we're back to uh, two two on Joe Monty's side. We've got Lizard and and Bill both have one have one Montessi each, and uh, we've got. We've got Jomanji going here. He's got Lizard and Logan to go. Hmm. It's interesting that like uh, you th you see scoundrels right, and you and the criminal syndicalist. I'm pretty sure Vodka Blitz has Kingpin in here, and it's like. It's like, why don't you just play Kingpin on Scoundrels? Like, that's like what he has been known for playing on. And, um, and it's like, but it's, uh, there, I think there's a lot of great reasons that you, he picked Modoc here. First of all, uh, Emma is like basically, uh, especially with what Joe brought, he brought a lot of displacement here and then, and then steals. It's like he basically brought what the same kind of kit that, criminal syndicate can bring but mm -hmm. he's got more power to he's got more power each round and damage reduction so we can really like he can play the kingpin game maybe better uh in a lot in certain situations but well in specialized um, models too right yeah. that's the other advantage that cs has to struggle around is getting affiliated so you get you get more specialized models yeah um, but then, uh, but then he goes with Modok because he uh mm -hmm. i like i mean i like now i think about it more it's like that extra dice um, mm -hmm. you, you don't have priority, so you do need to, you do need to flip characters or steal things and get in to do that. You need power. So you need to do damage and yep. there's objectives everywhere. There's eight of them and five secures though is the big thing. And so you're going to get your, your leadership wilds like very mm -hmm. often in this game. So I like, now I'm seeing like, now I'm thinking about it more. I'm seeing like all of the, the reasons why he didn't bring Kingpin and he opted to bring Modok too as the leader. And, uh, it's, uh, that's cool. I like it a lot too. Yeah, it's a good call. And Simon's actually gotten me to the point where I'm like, I need to relook at CS again. I've played a ton of it and I've stepped away and he, it's fun to look at what he's doing and go, oh man, maybe I could do something like that. Okay. So we have an attack. We had an attack into Lizard as Black Hat's already dazed. And it looks like no damage went through. And did he do? Was that two attacks? Them that all right? They're doing the second attack here. I think there it is. All right, just the one. Just the one. And he blocks one. No, takes no one. powerful throw or anything like that. So, yep. um, you're still winning the secure. I think if Modok is on it. Oh no, he threw him off. I, he threw him into the car, and he barely got off the objective. So that objective okay. down there is tied. Um, so we're looking at, um, Logan's going to displace Ulick here off of this point. So we're going to be seeing four points for Joe and we're going to be right. seeing three points for three. Vodka Blitz. Yeah. That's really interesting. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a one point game after round three. Yeah, I felt like Simon's ahead here, but even though it's not as obvious in the score, right? Uh, there's definitely momentum that's in Simon's favor. Uh losing a couple key models, dazes, but uh yeah. yeah, the score isn't showing it that way quite yet. The leader, it's just like you've lost your leader to on Hellfire, which is like yeah. uh, which is uh which is hard cuz now you you don't get that extra power. I mean, you still have four top tier models cuz that's like what yep. she does. It lets you do that. <laughs> um so and they've already benefited three times from it, right? So that's good. Yeah. But the um but this just means that, uh, like, the secure, because, like we said earlier, there's five secures and only three extracts. Mm -hmm. The secures are like, um, you can swing the game heavier if you have, um, if you are able to manage these secures better. And with, you've got now, you're going last and you've got more activations and all your characters are still healthy. It's, and just um, pure bodies, you, right? Because yeah. I think we're going to see a, another days or two here in this turn. Lizard's probably going to go down this turn. Yeah, we could. Easily, we could see um, either lizard or black cat be mm -hmm. um, 
uh, take a, I don't know, we'll, yeah, they could flip or Black Cat could be KO'd. Let's see, we've got Black Cat going here on this side, and he, she is attacking into Bill, hoping to get power. He looks like, wow, he's going to put one through on Bill, and, oh. um, and that puts, puts him in a steal position for, for next turn. For next turn, yep. Yeah. I mean, I guess Black I guess Cat. he was already in that spot. Unless, hold on, you just take two. Oh, was she only? On he would have been, yeah. Oh, so yeah, he been. wanted at least one there, so they could get to three. Uh, yeah, and he got and oh three with the leadership. Yeah, he's got three yeah, successes. And it's yeah. A pierce. yeah. So he had to pay one to take two. There you go. Yep. But that's a really good spot that sets him up for a steal and a walk away, which is really exciting. So now he's got all these threats. It's like, which which threat is Jumanji going to look at first? Yeah, Lizard has three health and he's holding him on Tessie. And, uh, and Black Cat's about to steal Bills. And the Montessi and Modoc on his side. Yeah. It's weird how they're not showing up on the overlay, but... Uh, I need okay. to look at that. I think I know the bug. So I, <laughs> we'll see if I can figure it out. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, um. Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> there's an okay. So there's another thing that I actually um, I figured out. I set up a new account, uh, backup account for so I can stream two games at once or something okay. like, or, and all that. And because uh, um, you're addicted, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love I love this. All right, but uh, but anyway, there's um there's one of the channels in in the TTS Discord that isn't showing up as a new user. So I'm I'm realizing like as I post, it's the streams channel. I don't know if you've uh, you're familiar with it, but the streams channel. Yeah, I, like I post all my streams into a streams channel. On the T on the TTS okay. thing, but anyway, uh, that's that's uh, that's its yeah, own thing. It's and uh, as a it's a as a new player, I just signed up, and I maybe I didn't click the right buttons to uh, on my roles in that in the Discord. But my new account can't see that channel. Um, but it doesn't. I mean, I'll I guess I should message you about that instead of uh, being in a game. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll take a screenshot of what I can see on my yeah. main account and what I can see on my second account, and then I'll I'll send it to you so you can check that out. But uh, but um, either way, back to the game. Yeah. The um, yeah, you're so talking actually, to a guy that's pretending he knows how to fix this. So so we'll, we'll actually, there. I had a so actually, it's a good point though. Is that um, if someone has any issues with uh, the TTS Discord, uh, what should they do about that? They should post a bug report or the Discord itself. That's a good question. Maybe even just throw it in the bug report or or just message one of the TOs in uh, <clears throat> in in the Discord itself. You know, you can hit the Infinity Watch. Uh, any of us can usually fix those sorts of things that are Discord related problems. Um, but if either way, a, if you have a TTS issue, uh, then uh, then same thing. Or was there a spot where definitely I bug report? Definitely bug report for TTS issues because that way I can track them. I don't lose track of them when I get busy. Uh, that's definitely the way to go. Very cool. So we have uh, Logan activating first here, and that was this. That was um, a, a non staggered leg. He had two attacks, and he did the thing that he does. Right. He's he was on the board for a reason, and that was to get double injuries or double KOs and or things like mm -hmm. that. And he was able to accomplish that. Um, so good job, Logan, doing what needs to be done here, wiping uh, yep. wiping half the board. <laughs> that's that's Logan's job, and he's very good at it. Okay, so yeah, now um, this is very interesting. It's it's setting up a very uh, uh, <laughs> precarious spot yeah. for Simon, right? Now he has less characters activate, and Joe is going to be going last unless uh, unless Vodka Blitz is able to push through enough damage here on Lizard. Lizard does have exceptional healing available to him, so. Uh, we might see uh, Joe pop that card to keep him alive. Remember, Lizard is the one holding the Montessi book. Yeah, I think he. I think I kill Lizard here. Oh, wow, that's tough. Do I kill Lizard? Or do I steal and walk? Mm, I see. I can see the dilemma that yeah, if I could let's say yeah. that's right. I think that. Um, oh man, I think you just steal it. I think you steal it. You steal and walk onto that center, and then yeah, because he doesn't. What else throw. is he? What's he gonna do to Black Cat? He's just not gonna. Yeah. He's not gonna be able to do anything to her. I had even probably put her in a spot where Bill has to. Bill can't single move onto the point. Like I'd body block Bill to getting onto the middle, secure mm -hmm. as well at the same time. Um, well, he'll be able to walk and yeah. throw and walk, but yeah, yeah, that's tough. Yeah, Keeps Lizard. I mean, I guess Lizard could like the, as a response. Lizard could like walk and throw her towards Bill mm -hmm. and being off the point. But still, even then, like even if Bill had two shots into her, like 
Uh, hey, there's no real guarantee here that she goes down. And there is no brace on Vodka Blitz's side, though. Uh, so, I mean, there's... Um, let's see who That's he goes he went, with, but... Yeah. He went all aggression instead of the brace, which I, it makes sense. Oh, no, he's already used it. No, he, brace, he used it. I, for, I don't know yeah, where yeah. he used it. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, Bill, maybe Bill threw Rhino? I, I don't I don't remember exactly what, I don't but... Remember. Okay. All right, let's see. We're rolling. All right, so Lizard just did one attack and a Modok here. One damage. Okay. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Modok, Vodka Blitz had to go. Modok just attacked Lizard. Yeah, yeah. Push one he's through and incinerate. Incinerate Lizard. All right. Uh, now he's got a throw, but Lizard's got Brace on Spending line. four for a Spender, I think. That makes sense. I like that. So, yeah, he spent all of his power here. And he's rolling five successes. Lizard has to block like a champ. He nothing. So there he goes. Oh, there he goes. A uh, Modok Gosh. is already holding a piece though, so it means that. Um, mm. Well, that was killing Black Cat. Oh, it's Black Cat. Okay, there it is. Oh, but you just get her anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah. He, okay, he spended her to dis displace her because there's an advance on it or something. Or... Oh, I gotcha. Wait, I gotta look at Modok again. See, I don't know that kid as well. Yeah, is he has a he has a, a displacement, an advance on that spender? I think right. Yes, yeah. right. Before damage is dealt, this character is stunned. Let's see. Before damage is dealt, may advance the character. Yeah. Yep. So then, uh, so he just got lucky though and just took her right off the. But I see you saying he's. He, I forgot that Joe's black hat could have stolen from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wild stun. Advance before, before damage, damage and yep. stun. Yeah. Very very cool attack. Four. I can understand why it costs four. It's uh that is has could have high impact on a, on quite a few characters. Okay, so now he's that was both of the attacks. So he incinerated Lizard with the first attack, and then he spendered into Black Cat and took her off the board. So Lizard still has the token, but he only has four health. So I mean, yep. I'm imagining we're gonna see, um, yeah, we're gonna see Lizard oh, maybe displace run. displace Black Cat, so she can't do the the same logic oh, back deal. at Vodka, right? So becomes the, a pseudo stagger, right? Because she's gonna need to walk and and steal. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, because she won't be able to afford to spend uh, for the hop and steal. So the uh, the challenge Ooh, the here though is good. if uh, it costs three to do that, and so if Vod if uh, Joe does the throw on Black Cat, it means that um, Lizard doesn't have enough for exceptional healing, and so he's vulnerable oh. to being injured. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's if only he had a had a way to get more power and maybe heal. But, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Like, like that might be the synergy for the team or something. <laughs> yeah. God dang, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, well, right, yeah. So Joe's gonna have to go with Lizard or Bill here. But yeah, it's um, I think Lizard's has you have to just put down Lizard here, or like you have to move yeah. him out of the way and not let him take two attacks. Uh, the problem is like if you put him within like range one, <laughs> obviously like you don't put her within range one of Black Cat to be able to steal from you. Um, yeah, Rhino has three power, so he can stampede. So he's oh, not really concerned about uh, like that's that's in our challenge, right? Is that like Rhino can do right. can get to Lizard or Bill um, if he wants. Um, so something interesting is that Modok mm -hmm. is Modok must isn't on the point, right? And black and he rolled only five successes into Black Cat, who rolled uh th nothing, and so she should have had cover there, right? Unless I'm missing something. Um, oh, he uh he forgot uh, about cover and and died, and, and Black Cat got one shot. Unless she had taken a damage already that got I'm missing. Three skulls. Oh, that's she got three, three skulls. skulls. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Oh, that's absolutely terrible. Three skulls. So bad. <laughs> oh man, that is raw. That is very. That is not good. Okay. Well, the leadership wouldn't have helped anyway because you can't modify. So that that's interesting. But three skulls. Oh is, yeah, you're uh, right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Fair. Very yeah. fair. Um. Yeah. So. All right, lizard attacking four dice. I know. Uh, <laughs> Better or, lucky than good. Heck yeah, that's the 
That's the truth. All right, so now he's going to spend her into Rhino. So he's looking for, basically yeah, he's looking for he's that. Rhino. Or, oh, hold on. He's, no, he's throwing MODOK into Rhino for another four oh, I like damage that. into Rhino. Lot. Yeah, I like it yep. too. Um, it's, uh, let's see if Rhino, what Rhino can block. Oh, he rolls a triple block and uh, takes only one. Oh, yeah. But I think, I think Lizard still has, and here we go. He's spending three more to do the yep. spender. He needs to hit big here. Joe does. Um, to take out Rhino. So let's see if we can get it done. Here we go. Four. Oh, but a good block. That would have been enough if uh, Vodka Blitz missed the block, but he yep. had a had an amazing block. And Does he get and, to modify for the leadership? No. Nope. Yeah. So. Yeah, because yeah, so that's no an damage. extra. No damage then, right? Because he no damage. the modification. Yeah. Yep. Cover and Cover, leadership. Oh, yeah, right. Lizard's on. Lizard's Blocking not on the point. Four. Okay, yeah, he's not on the point. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, Rhino's so on the so point, so he can modify for the, the yeah, defense as well. That's right. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh man, yeah, I do not play it's this cool. leadership, but I'm seeing like I'm seeing <laughs> yeah. how how gotta get uh, that wild though. It's all about that getting to that wild. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so Lizard didn't uh, wasn't able to punch through there. Looks like he advances to get to deny the cover. Maybe that was a push. Did he spend the power? Uh, he spent he well he aggressive and now he spent, spent three. three to throw a oh, aggressive. throw throw something. Nice. Got it. That makes sense. I throw that size two at lizard. See if he ends him without an activation. Oh, hold on, he's attacking now. I guess. Oh no, he st he paid three for stampede. That he, he just that's what it is. Okay, just boosts his dice. He's just a short tool. Um, yeah. Okay, so now yeah, lizard just needs to take one more hit here. So he's gonna throw a car. Maybe that's an option. Yeah, I like that. He gets a place. He's going to do a range one place before damage. He's waiting where that short movement's going to get him, whether it's going to help him at all. Yeah. So, yeah, it still has to think about what, what Black Cats are, mm -hmm. how it's going to it go will. with Black Cat, because yes, uh, sh both of them haven't gone yet. And, and, uh, hmm. maybe we see Black Cat, uh, be thrown away by from Bill and then double walk Bill double walks to a secure to prevent Black Cat from stealing it from him. Yeah. So anyway, we have Rhino doing the place. The place there. He's got another attack if he wants it. He's playing cruelty on Lizard though to push through the last damage. So five oh, dice oh, mystic. I like this. Yep. With one health left, Lizard effectively doesn't have any defensive tech. Just three dice. Two dice, he's incinerated. He won't be able to modify with this, so he won't be able to use the leadership. But he gets it. Cruelty says no. Gets it anyway. Yeah, I would, whenever I played Cruelty, I traded it as, God, I hope I don't do one damage, right? Don't yeah. expect to do any more than that. But that's all. He, one is all he needs sometimes. So this oh. allows him to pick up the objective and then take a walk. Yep, so now we've got Rhino and Modoc with objectives. And... Um... Modoc, I don't think I don't see Modoc on the point. So, we're, it looks like uh, we're seeing Vodka Blitz have two, have four points here with Bullseye, uh, Bullseye having one, Rhino having two, and Modoc having one. And uh, so, if yep. he gets, if he gets one more, he wins the game. He can do that with Black Cat mm -hmm. being on a point that uh, that Beta Ray Bill is not on, or by taking his extract. So Beta Ray Bill's only out here seems to be. Uh, dazing Black Cat, and uh, and if he That's does a tough, that, tough ask these days. It is very, it is a very tough ask. And but Joe is sitting at one extract on Bill, and if he dazes Black Cat here, he's gonna have two secures. So he's gonna be, excuse me, at it'll be thirteen for Joe, and it'll be, uh, in that case, it would be fifteen for Vodka Blitz if he's able to daze Black Cat. Um. So he's considering throwing Bla uh, throwing Rhino into Black Hat. He's not on the point there. Or he's considering throwing. Okay, so if you displace Rhino, it means that uh, you he can't score out unless Black Hat can be on her own secure and steal from Bill, which is... Um, probably not going to be possible because of where Bill ends his activation. So he's he's basically right. putting him putting Vodka Blitz in a spot where he just the, the, mathematically is no way to win the game this round. 
Um, man, I'd love to see him throw Rhino into Black Hat, though. Is that is that bad? Maybe that's. Uh, <laughs> but uh, maybe that's the wrong line. But it could. Oh, he's looking to throw on Modok, but she he's gonna live no matter that's what. Too far. Yeah. Is that too far? I don't know. I guess I don't understand why he's not throwing into Black Hat here because you could get her. You could get her, yeah. Uh, she's got to block nothing, but still, it's a chance. Hmm. Measuring for. All right. So he's going to collide into the motorcycle. Punch? And then, yeah, I don't know. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's very close to being. Um... He's very close to being dazed, but not close enough. So there's the second move from Bill. He's setting up a... Yeah. Uh, uh, so what he really is doing, he's, he's, he's setting next up turn. next turn. He can throw... He could throw Rhino into Modok for huge damage potential. But... And daze in them both. Okay. So we're seeing... Uh, we're, yeah, we're going to see Black Cat here on Foglet's side. Move and steal. She's not holding a piece, right? Yeah. So no. we're going to see three extracts on vodka blitz's side plus one secure putting him at 15 points oh okay and we're gonna see we're joe or joe's only gonna be scoring one vp so 15 Oof. oh sorry oh am i missing something here what am i missing um three no, Logan? four zero secures oh bullseye's dazed i was Logan. counting bullseye i was counting bullseye oh, He's oh, dazed. That's true. so yeah so either way uh 14 11 is um is yeah vodka blitz only needs two points he's got all three extracts rhino's got to get out of town uh, well i think you're gonna i think you're gonna thing. throw uh you're gonna throw rhino into modok probably or or oh because he has Cat. joe has priority yeah yeah who went last though I thought uh, black went hat last. went very last oh yeah 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 see man my brain <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we're going to throw there. There'll be a collision, some weird placement decisions as he slides back. The interesting thing here is if you, uh, okay, so Modok, if you attack Modok, you can, uh, he can mm -hmm. sacrifice with that two power onto yep. another character. So Somebody maybe else. It's, yep. it's tricky. Maybe you don't throw in a Modok because of that reason. You throw can... into Black Hat. Yeah. Who's got the objective and then try to kill her. Uh, you just, you just get that. to split. You just get to split uh, damage if you attack into Modok. Like the first attack, Modok can take. The second attack, he can deflect it. Right. And then they're both alive. And All right, so let's see if if uh, Black Cat rolls. Blue gets one crit. So she takes four block. damage. Ooh, man. Very close. Um, You still have... So you're gonna, yeah, you, you, need, to, you nice need to take that it. one... Uh, they both have one health left. So you really want to, what you really want here is to, um, yep, you're going to get one of them. That's Rhino gone. And you're going to grab the book. Very reasonable with that one mm -hmm. power that Beta Ray Bill is going to get from that attack. But you also have another action. So Joe's looking to attack into Black Cat and set up the book for Lizard, who, um, yep. who will, uh, well, Bill doesn't have power right now, too. So he's got to punch, uh, Black Hat and get a power to even pick up that book. Oh, I thought no, he has one from doing one damage to a Rhino on that attack. He just, oh, you're uh, right. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. he does have enough. He's just not picking up right away. And he Got doesn't it. attack okay. a Black Hat and he gets her. All right, there we go. That's what we want to see. Um, yep. that's, uh, that's there we go. Another double, another double days for Joe Manji's side of the board. He's getting he these. Uh, he's getting these. Um, when he absolutely needs to. Yep. But uh, he didn't. He didn't get them when he wanted them. <laughs> you don't always get what you want. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Emma didn't perform, but now we've got some Bill punching above his weight a little bit, or punching more than needs the job to be at done. the right time. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's Bill's. Bill's really good at that. Um. He. Oh yeah. So he um picked up Black Cat's book, I guess, and is uh. And dropped rhinos. Yeah, dropped rhinos. So, so here's the thing that's interesting about this that I think uh, li maybe a goof. I don't know, but he put the book within one of Modok, which now means Modok about that. is uh, contesting the. Uh, he's contesting an objective, therefore he, yep, gets, the he gets the leadership. 
Yep. Uh, yeah, that's. Um, it's fun to do that on things like even re- researcher. Uh, it works that way too on the back uh, evac points. Yeah. So I think Joe made a mistake in the placement of that objective. Um, he should have just put it. Obviously, just put it closer to Lizard outside of range of Modok. But uh, Logan. That's why I used to play. Is yep. getting attacked here. And uh, sorry, you, what were you going to say? You used to play. I was say, that's why I used to play senators with uh, Shadowlands Daredevil a lot because as soon as you shoot them and knock something down, you could get them to contest. Yeah, and then shoot the other guy. Yep. Uh, TJ Lord saying he already has one. No, yeah. So I think. Um, so did Bill already have one the whole time? No, no. So Bill didn't have one no, at the start of his no, turn. No, and Modok has one. But Rhino and Black Hat both did. So he now now Modoc has he it. took one from one of them, and the other one he dropped beside Modok. Mm-hmm. Is what happened. Modoc yeah, has but it's one. not the. Oh yeah, he already has one. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, what you're but saying. for TG Lord, it's that it's contesting on the ground. Oh yeah, you're. Yeah, has yeah, one, right. So we're we're uh, yeah, we're uh, brain we're farting a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He already was getting his leadership because he already you, had Lord. an objective. Yes, thank you, TG Lord. I thank you. Yeah, we're so bad. <laughs> uh, so Do that's, you know how this game works? Yeah, I know, right? What what game are we playing? Yeah. Um. So Ulik is gone, and uh, he is. Uh, he just spent all three of his power. So he did an attack into Logan and pushed him away. And then he did a spender yep. into Logan to stagger him. And now he's going to so throw the car at him. Now he's going to throw the car at him, it looks like. I mean, he, why wouldn't you throw the size four? Uh, uh, maybe he's saving it in case for later because Brace is still online. Um, oh, okay, maybe. I see. Yep, you're but right, I don't think there'll right. be another round. There so it I don't goes. Know. I mean, you always, I mean, but if. You never uh, know. It's still tough. Uh, he's going to play brace because it could kill him if he, if he blanks, yep. but he has exceptional. So there's a little bit of, maybe you don't. Um, and all right. So then Ulick is done. He's going to be displaced. He is injured and Logan is healthy. So it doesn't actually even matter if he, uh, if he stays on the point, if, as long as Logan's on it. Um, yeah. Logan will just need to punch him and then be on the point. Yeah. So let's see. I'm just trying to, now let's see if, how can vodka blitz like kind of, uh, um, deal with this. How can he? He can now. Logan only is staggered, so he can only get one VP over there. It means that, um, what that means is that Bullseye is guaranteed to get a point, or Ulik is guaranteed to get a point. So there's one point up there, and uh, and he's got Modok who has a point, so he's winning this game. Um. To yeah, he's uh Bill's got a point. Let's see. Yeah, he's he's gonna I think Vodka Blitz is winning this game if like if we don't see any sort of uh swing on Joe's side here. Lizard spent three power to do an attack into Modok, who took a lot of damage there, took three damage. Oh my. And a bleed and slow. Alright. Now um we're gonna looks like he's gonna do four more dice into him probably and pick up that Montesi. Yep. But uh, so he's he if he gets this though, he's in a spot where he w- does he win here one two th- two books three four no he does he doesn't win but he he uh oh my gosh he's one short he didn't he wouldn't have won but it would have been a fourteen oh, it would have been a um huge thing. what would it have been it would have been oh, a he one, does he 15, 14, 15. he did get him oh he does get him. So wow, this is intense. This oh, is actually car. really intense now. Yeah, this is uh, oh, okay. So um, now it looks like Vodka Blitz is only going to be scoring one VP, and Joe is going to be scoring two, th- four. So it's going to be fifteen, yep. fifteen. Oh my goodness! Wow, we are going another round. <laughs> oh man, that's wild. All right, so let's see. I mean, the only re—I mean, the only way to stop this is if I mean, yeah, yeah. No matter what, I think this is. Um, this is going to be 15 and 15, right? I don't see a yep. line where it isn't. Oh, um, man. He's going to do the same thing he did last time, which is, oh, man. He could he could uh, one-shot two. Logan twice here for accept a bait to get exception on the first time and then At least kill get him the, card the second one. Yeah, but, like, if you, you've got a rapid fire here. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. you've got your leadership. Pending. If you, if you like, basically do three damage to Logan here, yeah. um, you ha- he has to play exceptional. And he rolls yep. five. Oh my gosh, he just rolled five successes and, and it blocks nothing. He has to play uh, exceptional. And it, yeah, five with the leadership. Yep. And he had the crit coming in too. Yeah, so exceptional is played. Now if he gets hit, if he gets one shot again, uh that's so it's over. Game over, I think. Because he hit because he's hitting and running this, I believe. I yep. saw him spend a bunch of power. So 
It means that he... Oh, four? That's four. That's it. Wow. That's game. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> He wow. just he just uh took his two threat with Modok and uh and there he gets the two VPs. Is it two is it yeah, two VPs That's a mad on the top. Logan. Oh my <laughs> goodness. He just basically he like Ooh. punched through four damage on Logan twice to win the game, basically. Uh, bullseye the MVP. Yeah. Jeez. Holy moly. Oh man. That was uh that was quite the ending what an there. Ending. Jeez, he just um well, this was a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah, thank you, Simon, yeah. and thank you, Jumanji, for letting us uh, record this. This is this was a cool game to watch. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you guys for letting us stream the game, and uh, and thank you, Carl, for joining me on stream. So, um, Yeah, this was a good one for me. I know CS, and I know Hellfire, so this was this was good, even though I sound like I don't know the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, you see, I, the amount of times I've blundered eyes, I, it's all good. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've got another uh, replay lined up sometime, probably tomorrow I'm going to stream it. It's uh, K-Dob versus Isaac, Wakanda versus Hellfire. So that should be a good one. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good night. All right. See ya. Carl. Have a good night. All right. Yeah. I'll catch you later, guys. Peace.